So Brendan Fraser has a movie coming out in December called The Whale, and this is now the second time that he's gotten a five-minute standing ovation for his performance in the movie. Supposedly, he's really good in it. And it's pretty cool to see him get a, a, a standing ovation and a big comeback in Hollywood after the stuff that he revealed he had went through in Hollywood. And, you know, he's one of the few guys that's come out and talked about that, and I believe he should be commended for it. However, some people are a little upset over this movie. I've talked about this before. Here he is breaking down in tears. I mean, it's got to be a good feeling to be up there and get that kind of praise for, for five minutes. A lot of people are praising this movie and his performance, and I, and I hope it does well. I, I like Brendan Fraser. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I've never seen him come out and rant about anything stupid or anything ridiculous like a lot of other Hollywood celebrities do. So I hope, I hope this movie does well. I'll probably check it out because this movie is starting to remind me of Joker. Remember all the nonsense that came out when that movie was coming out and how a lot of the media was trying to stop it? Well, we're getting that with The Whale. So in case you don't know, uh, The Whale is about a man who leaves his family for another man. It doesn't work out. And he eats himself into a depression, or he eats through a depression, I should say, and gains a ton of weight. I think he weighs 600 pounds in the movie. Yeah, 600 pounds. Now, a lot of people are mad because he's wearing a fat suit. And I have to ask, where are you going to find a 600-pound person healthy enough to come perform in a movie? I don't think that that's possible. So they're mad that they didn't go get... I'm serious. I did a, I did a video talking about this a while ago. Some people are mad about the fat suit. Some people are mad because apparently there's scenes in the movie where... He drops his keys and struggles for them, and this gets laughs in the theater. And then some people are also mad that they didn't get a 600-pound gay man to play Brendan Fraser's part. Reminds me of when they were mad that Sony didn't hire an elderly blind woman who's also disabled to play Madam Web in their upcoming Spider-Man spinoff. These are real things that people get upset about. Oh, don't forget that also people were mad that they didn't hire someone ugly to play the Penguin in the Batman. They're like, why'd they get Colin Farrell? They had to make him ugly. They could have hired an ugly person. Imagine being the person that gets that role because they're ugly. <laughs> and then they never work again. The media is insane. So there's a whole controversy, controversy behind this. Screen Rant writes a whole article complaining about... The fact that Brendan Fraser is playing a fat man, even though Brendan Fraser is not a thin man, he's a little overweight. So, you know, and I'm not saying that to throw shade at him. Like, you can see it in his pictures here. He's not a super thin man. Like, he used to be. But, I mean, obviously, he's, he's packed on some pounds over the years. Over the years. It's fine. He's an older man. I just don't see the problem. I, I, I really don't see the problem. He's lost a little bit of weight, actually. But have you seen him? Uh, his best, his the best way to check it out is look at him in Doom Patrol. He's a little bit bigger. I think he's been losing a little bit of weight, but it doesn't matter. Like, let him play the role. Apparently, he does a really good job. But uh, people are pretty much mad because they're calling the whale fat phobic. The whale's fat phobia controversy explained. Despite the almost universal praise for Brendan Fraser's human performance as well as the acting from the rest of the film's ensemble, the whale's garnered a lot of controversy for the film's supposed fat phobia from viewers and critics alike. Uh, those viewers, very few. Critics, a lot of critics have. I'm going to show you in a second. These criticisms have partially stemmed from the use of a fat suit to make friend Brendan Fraser look like he weighs 600 pounds that his character does. Rather than hiring an actor of a similar build to Charlie, the fat suit was then digitally altered in post-production to further increase the size of the character to the full 600 pounds. Critics of this creative decision by director Darren Ofnowski 
claim that this choice undercuts Frazier's human performance and treats Charlie in a voyeuristic manner. He's also been criticized that Charlie endures especially the verbal abuse that Charlie receives from his daughter Ellie and treats his eating as a horrific spectacle that seems at odds with the empathy that Frazier's performance achieves. I mean, like, like this, you know why this exists and a lot of the problems with this exists is because of this weird, healthy at any size bullshit that we have going on right now because that's not true. Uh, if you're 600 pounds, your risk of a lot of stuff, particularly heart attack problems, among other things, is a lot higher than other people. It's it's the wrong message to send to people. Where are you going to find a 600-pound actor that's healthy? The only time I could think of them actually hiring someone like that is during Gilbert Grape, and the most that actress did was sit on the couch. And I'm not trying to throw shade at her. She seemed like a nice woman. Johnny Depp and her had a good relationship. I'm just saying. This guy, from what I understand, moves around a little bit. It's just, it seems like such a stupid thing to get mad about. Oh, he wore a fat suit. Who cares? A lot of critics are actually giving this movie bad reviews over on Rotten Tomatoes right now. 70%. Wait till this movie comes out. It's going to get lower. I bet you this movie will get a rotten rating because of the fat suit stuff. All kinds of people in here whining about it. And for some reason, Rotten Tomatoes stopped working, which kind of sucks. But I promise you that there were quite a few critics in there giving the movie bad ratings and reviews because of the fact that a fat suit is used and that people make fun of Brendan Fraser's character in the movie. Wait till this movie comes out. This is going to be, uh, they're going to actually boost this movie up because of the way they're acting about it. Like, look at this article from Screen Rant, even right here. Warning, this article discusses fat phobia, sexual abuse, and therefore may be distressing to some readers. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> this is insane. So I hope the movie does well. I like Brendan Fraser. Would it'd be nice to see him get a win, even though he already kind of is getting one. His peers are really praising this movie, and I hope it does well. I hope it's a good movie. I'm looking forward to watching it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.